put on this thing. We go go ahead and get this thing in, bro. Cause I know look in three hours, man. We got the we got the uh the fitness group, man. If you if you hop yeah, in tonight. I seen that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hop in. Uh hey, like yeah, as soon good. as we get off of here, um, I'm gonna run to the store, go get everything I need for the week, and then um it usually takes about an hour and a half, and then uh, yeah. I'll be back. Nice, bro. Nice, nice. Cause you know we gotta have you on, man. We we enjoyed you last time. That was yeah. your first time on, bro. Yeah, it, it was dope, man. It was pretty. I, I liked it. You know what I mean? I like uh, even you know, like even when uh, May May hopped in for a little bit. Yeah. You know, and then I like how she, you know, hey, we got her 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 input on things, mm -hmm. and then even mm -hmm. uh, the other one, I can't remember her name. Uh, Giselle. No, not Giselle. The uh, the other lady who was cooking. Uh, oh, uh, Marquita. Marquita. Yeah. Marquita. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like. Even with her input and just hearing her side of things, even yeah. with kids, yeah, I was like, and cooking for them, I was like, man, that's that's kind of crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, that like these calls are the like it will not even calls, but like these meetings and stuff like <laughs> that. It's pretty dope because you could get other people's thoughts, what they go through, and how they're dealing with it, man, and mm -hmm. it was like fantastic. Man, man, you, you, you took the words right out of my mouth, man, and that's why I do what I do. Like that's why I love being able to, you know. Again, I, I bought this podcast, Mike, for this specific reason. I was like, it's going to get bigger, it's going to get more impactful. I got to prepare myself. So, investing in this and putting the time and the money and the energy into it, man, to hear what you just said, it really makes it worth it. It's like people are getting what I'm doing. People are getting what I'm yeah. trying to build. Like. I wanted to build this community, you know, where people could come together, talk about their their trials and, and their successes, and then share that with other people. And then other people talk about theirs, and then everybody benefits in it. Right. That's yeah, what I wanted. Sure. That's what I wanted, yeah, man. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking about having to open up my game, too. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I've seen this guy in the gym. Uh, you know, I got a standard old tripod. Uh, but man, his tripod, he <laughs> told me, uh, yeah, he told me how much you paid for it. I'm like, dang, that's a lot of money to get on that pod. And then, uh, but he, sh I seen his videos, yeah, and I seen how it worked, and mm -hmm. he was showing me, and the movement of the camera stays still, like everything. And then, I, I don't know, it was just pretty badass. And when he set it up, the camera was just following him, it was like a gimbal or whatever. And yeah, it it was just perfect quality. I was like, yep. I need these for my reels. Yep, yep, yep. I was like, man, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to invest in yourself. Sometimes you got to put the money back into yourself in order to even see increase in money. You know? Yeah, that's the same thing I thought about it too. Because mm -hmm. I was like, man, just think about it. You know, you use this for your reels. It's gonna it's gonna work out in the long run, no matter what. Like whatever money you put into it, you're gonna get it back. Yeah, you know? exactly. Exactly. And that's that's the way I look at it. I'm just like, you know, though, for me, it's not it's never about the money. But at the same time, as a business, you need money. So, yeah, yeah. yeah being real about that aspect of it, you need money. But then on top of that, you know, being able to pour your money into something that could benefit people better. You you know, you can you can hear me better on here rather than if mm -hmm. I was talking at first. I used to talk on this. Now, you know, I'm able to sound closer you can you can hear me more clearly it, it, it probably feels more intimate having this microphone or you know sooner or later i'll probably do something else and probably start giving out giveaways in the group because i'm making a mu enough to even put aside some for a giveaway you know just things like that like right. being able to just give back to what it is you're building that truly i think is the way to is the way to grow yeah and yeah you know you uh <laughs> and I, it's funny because when you bought the mic and stuff like that, I see it, and it just reminds me of a uh, old school. Well, not old school, but I remember back in the days, like yeah. in the studios, when people used to put those milk crates and surround. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I don't know why it just reminds me of that every time we sit down and talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you're right, man. Hey, being in a, be a closet with the curtain, yeah, <laughs> yeah. man. Bro, bro, but but man, I'm not gonna keep you long, man. Because again, we're I'm gonna be seeing your face in about a couple hours, so yeah. I, I want you to be able to run to the store and stuff, man. But I only have a few questions. I know yeah, this is our, sure. but this is our first check in, so you know it's really special to me, man. Uh, for the guys that are watching, everybody's gonna be watching this on YouTube and everywhere else. Uh, this is Art. He's a member of my private Facebook fitness group. Um, uh, the games, man, the games be with you. Uh, guy, the man, you know, again, this guy has been on my 
previous content, but it's something about just his persona, his vibe that truly makes me happy to sit down with him. You know, so I'm happy to sit down with everybody. But when I talk to you, man, it's, it's really an, an enjoyment and I get a lot from it. Um, so I want to thank you, Art, for, you know, making this time out your schedule, man, to, you know, be able to allow me uh, to pick your brain a little bit. Um, so, guys, we're just going to do a check in. You know, this is something that is pretty quick, but at the same time, something I do with my uh, members monthly in terms of my fitness group. So, uh, all right, man, we're going to kick it off, man. This this month, I guess, in terms of the past month, um, how has it been in terms of your fitness goals? What goals did you have and did you hit them? What did you do? We are getting there uh, one week after another. It's a mm. steady grind, but mm. we are getting close, and I'm getting closer and closer. Uh, each, each week, um, I like to try to dissect of what I did wrong mm. and uh, try to correct it. Um, but, like, so far, I'm not saying I'm perfect because, like, there was a few days I had some slip-ups, but okay. I had to make it up the following day. You know, okay. because that, that's it. and I'm just speaking in my calories wise because that's pretty much what's my locked in focus right now is yeah. um, bumping up my calories and hitting my calorie marks. It's very hard for me because you know eating 4,300 calories, it's just it's ridiculous. You know, sometimes, <laughs> but um, finding ways to make it easier for me, it was a struggle for like the first couple of weeks, but uh, the weight yeah. is actually moving in the right direction. Nice. Um, Making making small adjustments throughout the day can benefit you in the long run. Mm. And that's that's one thing. It's just like I would love to start stressing the people because like once you feel like you didn't do it and then you feel like you failed, oh like I failed at this, and then it's a reminder that hey, this stuff is not an everyday thing. It is a weekly thing. You know what I mean? It's a weekly average when you're messing with calories it's nice. like one day if you're way over you actually ate and you're like oh man i've destroyed everything no just mm -hmm. eat under the next thing mm -hmm. dang i didn't hit my numbers well guess what i'm gonna eat more the following day mm -hmm. so i can make it up and then uh, i found out what worked for me and then uh, it's actually been going good um last two weeks ago i said i had uh, five pounds to gain and I'm right on track. I still put on two Let's pounds. Go. Let's yeah, go. I put on two pounds, so I only have three more to go, which is I plan to accomplish that in the next three weeks. Wow. Because by, by April, I want to be hitting my goal. Actually, before April, the last week of March, I want to be at my goal weight at 160, except for I can just be free for a week because my plan was by April, I'm going to start back in my calorie deficit. I'm going to start shredding off of all my excess fat I put on mm. the surplus. And then um, I want to hit that 160 the third week of March. Therefore, I could just give give my body a break, not stressing on counting calories, um, eat freely uh, yeah. whenever I want. I figure if I could do that, it'll be a free week for me and mm. it'll, help me out, it'll help me out mentally. Yeah. Absolutely. It will actually mentally prepare me for that upcoming up month, well, not month, but uh, when I get to April and I'm going to start in that calorie deficit, it's going to give me a week to prep and get that mind right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wish I would have thought of this when I started my calorie surplus. Yeah. Because I jumped, I jumped in it head first, not knowing mm -hmm. how I'm going to tackle it, not having a game plan. I kind of just like went for the feel. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and just adjust day to day, and I wish I didn't do that. But hey, yeah. you know, it is a, a lesson learned, and so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this when it comes to my calorie deficit. Mm -hmm. So I'm be nice and play, eat some, eat some good food, uh, mm -hmm. whatever. Some stuff I wouldn't normally eat, uh, mainly water burger. Uh, it's been mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna enjoy that, <laughs> you know, because uh, you know one thing we forget, you know. Yeah. I, I like to be 100% all about discipline. Hit it. Hit your goals no matter what. Do not cheat. We're not cheating here. We're yeah. playing it straight up, straight arrow. But there are some times where, like this week, I feel like, you know what I mean? It's take a break. Yeah. It's like yeah. even when, even during our fitness, you mm -hmm. know I mean? when we've been hitting it hard for like three, four months straight, lifting yeah. heavy, lifting heavy, lifting yeah. heavy. And then 
it is sometimes good, even when I try to tell some, you know, two of my clients, yeah. and then, uh, another person, uh, I've been telling them, it's very good to take a deload week, Bro. a deload, you know what I mean? Hey, not go so heavy. Let's just take yep. it easy. You know what I mean? Easy. We're, yeah. just, we're still going to get our reps in. We're still going to put in our work. We're still going to be hitting it a hundred percent, but we're just not going to be lifting as heavy as we were. You know, yeah. I mean, give, the body, yeah. give the body a break, and then that's how I'm looking at it when I'm transitioning through the last week of uh, March. I'm gonna mm. look at it as a deal week for mm. my body, mm. for my body physically and my body mentally, mm. and, get, and get it prepared. And next thing you know, April first, back to work, calorie deficit. Mm. Man, let let me ask you this because I'm I'm actually pretty curious when it comes to you failing to hit your your daily calorie intake. What would you say are some of the reasons you failed to do that? Life. Okay. Uh, life, just plain out. It's just, mm-hmm. I was explaining to one of my clients this morning when I, we were training, he said, man, I missed my calorie mark by like mm-hmm. 500 and some odd calories. And he said, man, uh, but this is the reason why. I was like, man, bro, hey, you ain't got to explain to me. You know what I mean? I said, hey, it's called life, man. <laughs> you know, uh, you know. Yeah. I wish I could be perfect. You know yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be lying to you. I'll be like, no, you need to hit the marks. Mm-hmm. I don't give a damn what mm-hmm. throws at you. No, mm-hmm. it's not about that. You know what I mean? It's just mm-hmm. life happens. You know, mm-hmm. I have to explain to what happened to me one time when I missed my calorie, but I made it up the following two days. That's what I was explaining to him about. Hey, this is a weekly average, not a daily average. So mm-hmm. that's that is the way to go about it. Bro, bro, I I, I love that man. You. I love the fact that as a trainer, you bring not only yourself, but then your clients, because I've met a lot of trainers. Uh, all right, bro. And I'm sure you have, too, where they would beat their they would beat their clients upside the head if they don't meet their goals. It's like, mm-hmm. how dare you? You're you're pathetic. Or I, I knew some of them that would just curse them out and, you know, just berate them. You know what I'm saying? In a sense. But you told me just now that you tell your client. It's OK. It's life. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. That's what's up. I I love that, bro. I love that you can relate yourself back to them because, again, I see so many trainers that just rip their clients to shred. And it's almost like their clients are scared of them. Mm -hmm. You know, (laughs) I I think I told you, but there was a client uh, that was a yeah client that had a trainer who had the keys to their house. Like they would go inside their house and go inside the refrigerator and be like, no, we're taking this. Like they'll just be throwing stuff. It's like, what the heck? Like, I'm uh, bro. I I was like I almost asked her like do you have a do you have a husband like is he okay with this you know like, like, yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know about that one <laughs> that's that's what I'm that's what I'm saying but there's a lot of trainers that do that they actually beat down their clients yeah you know? it, uh, I'm not I can't speak on it but you know mm-hmm. um, I seen it on the internet a few times mm-hmm. and then even like getting in their face and ripping them <laughs> you know. Um, I never, I never looked at it. I'm like, yeah, man, I don't never want to be this guy. You know, it's just yeah. like, how can I, it's like, how can someone sit there and endure that and still pay this man, you know, what I mean? <laughs> to, to help him, you know, it's like, man. I always thought that, you know, but I was like, shoot, I know what I'm not doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Mm-hmm. Even from my personal background, even the way I was brought brought up, mm-hmm. I, was, I was a man never to be that way. You know, what I mean? yeah, you get ugly with somebody if somebody gets in your face. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like a lot of times, what I like to do is relate um, mm. and um, relate, and how can I say connect? Yeah, with my clients. You yep. know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. what's your struggle? Let me know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me tell you how I deal with that. Yeah, you know, it's not. It's my job to train you, but then again, it's my my job also to figure out what are your barriers. Mm. You know, everyone has barriers. You know, Absolutely. and, and let me know it, and I'll figure out how we can work around those barriers. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's gonna mess up, but it's yeah, like how how you react to that mess up is where is what really counts. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, exactly, yeah. and, and that's why I wanted to pick your brain on that, man, because I knew and I know the type of guy you are. Um, and the type of trainer that you are. So to hear that you said you relate back to your clientele, you allow yourself to go into that vulnerability state and you don't paint yourself as perfect. You don't paint to your clients that you're perfect. You Because when you said that, when you, when you hopped on just now, too, I was like, it's, it kind of took me back when you said 
yeah, man, I haven't been all there. I slipped a few weeks. I, I slipped a few times throughout the week. I was like, whoa, like, like he's just letting it all out. When usually you have trainers that are like, yeah, I'm always doing this. And so if you're not, you know, if you're not hitting this, then you, that's just because you're not doing this. And they never really talk about what they don't do. Mm-hmm. So I commend you, bro. That that makes you stand out. Yeah. Um, I, I guarantee you there's like, um, <laughs> there's nobody hitting their marks. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not going to, you know I mean, if you're too afraid to say it, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. hey, well, man, we're all human, you know? Yeah. I, mean, I yeah. don't give a damn if, it's just like, uh, what else is the example I said? Um, I seen a guy in the gym and mm-hmm. he was um, like, all wrong, mm-hmm. all wrong, and then like me and my boy, uh, me and my buddy, uh, we work out together, and uh, he was just like, Man, I ain't talking shit about that man like that. I said, I don't give a damn if that man he is in here trying, mm-hmm. that's all what fucking matters, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's in here trying, it, it kills me because you know, I want to go up to him and be like, Look, bro, yeah, hey, <laughs> let me help you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like but in my world, I really can't do that. You know what yeah. I mean? Especially mm-hmm. at the gym, at the gym where I'm at, because they they think I'm taking clients from them. You know? What oh I mean? man, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so I I try to just be like, hey, I try to increase the vibe. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like, I don't give a damn. That man's in here trying. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He, he could be sitting at home not doing anything and what, flipping through the TVs, having a bag of chips. Even though my man's in here doing the shit wrong, he's still in here doing it wrong. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. (laughs) I said, guess what? One day he's going to get that shit right and he's going to be Mm -hmm. pumped. I wish I would have fucking knew how to do Romania deadlifts perfect. I was just telling my other client, I was just Mm -hmm. like, I said, dude, you mastered this shit within two weeks, what took me six weeks to do. You know, I said, man, I tried six weeks in a row, not every six weeks every day, mm. six weeks on my leg day, uh-huh. studying film, trying to perfect Romanian deadlifts. You know what wow. I mean? And my wow. boy, but, you know, I ain't going to toot my own horn, but he does have mm. me as a coach. Mm. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, <laughs> but, man, two solid weeks, I got him doing it perfect. Nice. And this was the third week and where I didn't even have to instruct on how to do it. My man walked up there, got his feet planted, engaged them lats, picked up the weight, do the little hip hinge step mm. back, brought his hips back first, drop the weight, man, fill the stretch mm. in the glutes and then bring it back up. And dude, I turned yeah. around and said, let's fucking go. <laughs> I was so hyped, man. He was like, he's like, man, what's up? I said, bro, you just don't know how fucking proud I am. <laughs> I was oh. like, man, I was just so mm. proud. You know what I mean? It's just, mm. My bad. I just, I just nah. talking about a proud man. No, nah, I love that. I love that. I love. <laughs> Talk about it, man. That's. But that's what I was explaining to him. I said, you fucking got this shit down on your third try. What took me fucking six fucking weeks to get? Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. So I just like. It was just a proud moment, you know. I mean, as a trainer, and then that's like that's why I'm in here. This is what this is what drives me. This is what I do. What I do because that feeling right there is um, you can't. It's a high you can't never get. You can't you know ever, I mean? bro. You, you, mm. It's just a, a fucking high, bro. Mm. Down another four pounds. It's like mm. let's get it, you know. Mm. Bro, inspirational man, inspirational man. I, I I I love it. I love it, man, and never feel. Uh, restrained to to share those moments L- let me ask you this bro for the upcoming month or at least this month i know this month is new for us um we're in like the first week what are some of the strategies you have in place for this month uh in ensuring your success on your journey or your fitness goals um i kind of got a little good little game plan down where i know where i can actually hit my calorie marks uh i know what's been working the past Mm. three weeks and Mm. then uh i'm gonna make another small adjustment because i will probably be increasing my calories another 300 wow i found out already how i can incorporate that 300 calories real Mm. easy good good real easy how man you got you gotta tell us, yeah. <laughs> it, it's um because see one thing about it is that oh 
I hit to for me while I was struggling to hit the calories. So what I'd start doing was uh, making my protein shakes a whole lot different. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my, uh, I still keep my pre workout uh, protein shake the same, but mm-hmm. my post and I, I just incorporated another shake throughout the day. Wow. And um, mm-hmm. what I did was uh, I knew I needed to increase my calories by like 350 on certain areas. And mm. then, uh, so what I did was I went from 1% regular milk to just regular whole milk, which mm. gave me like an extra uh, 40 calories. And then I started incorporating peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter, yeah. Regular peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, yeah. Because I was always, I always put peanut butter in it, but I was always putting my PB2. Oh, PB2. Yep. Yeah, I love yeah, PB2. You know I mean? Yeah. Was, yeah, so I saw all I messed with. And mm-hmm. then I was like, hold on, if I just substitute regular peanut butter for it. More, and, more calories. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I said, man, mm-hmm. that's my calorie. Intake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? And then uh, I'm not gonna lie too. I went with this one. I switched my protein powder up too. Mm. I went with because I'm always uh, a lot of people don't know about this one. Uh, levels. Oh man, levels, nice, bro. This is some good stuff. Very, very decent for the price. And one thing I like, I as much as I promote these guys, they should sponsorship, bro. Hey, <laughs> they should. They should. Um, Dude, look at the ingredient. This is what I know you probably can't tell, but mm. right here, there's only like five ingredients in this mm, thing, and, yeah. and it's grass fed. Oh wow! Whey wow. protein. And wow. It's um. This is the five gallon tub, but, but um, I switched my protein powder up because, of course, this one's 130 uh, calories per serving, mm. and I went with the muscle milk. Mm, uh, the muscle okay. milk has a very good, but um. It has 280 calories per serve. Wow. Wow. So that helped me. Hit that helps you get your calorie. Let's go. And it's just switching, making two little adjustments, little things. Yep. And now I'm on the right path. And then, yeah. um, like, now I'm getting ready to increase my calories another 300. Mm. Uh, I found um, I found these R- uh, MRE bars made by Redcon. Mm. Uh, they're, they're protein bars. And, okay. Um, they are made with whole ingredients, nothing but real food. You, it's just, it's amazing. Wow. I, wow. I found them; they're like two hundred and ninety calories. Wow! And that wow. with a banana to for a snack through the day, that makes up the three hundred. My three hundred, and then gives me like an extra forty on top of it. So if I Ooh. eat that every day, I don't have to change anything. I just have to incorporate that protein bar with a banana. So that's how I'm gonna attack. it. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I know I'm going to get my calories and then I'm going to hit my mark. So it's not like I'm sitting here trying to struggle, trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. It's like I'm exactly. game plan. So that's how I like to attack things. Bro. And then like what I said from the jump, it's just, you'll be amazed just making small With small adjustments yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. It can make you hit your goals. Yeah. 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 So small. So you would recommend for anybody that trying to put on or take off, you know, um, a bit of weight or a bit of fat to make small adjustments. Don't, don't, small don't do any. Okay. Yeah. Don't jump in head first. Like, you yeah, go right into the calorie. Mm-hmm. Deficit. You, there's no reason to go balls, eight ball and, and uh, how they say it, uh, jump head first. In, jump in you know, from, right? yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, bro, man. You dip your toes, yeah. Dip your toes in there, man. Yeah, then once it feels good, to, to go to the ankles. Exactly. And, and as we keep on progressing, we'll get knee deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, You're I right. That's where a lot. I think that's where a lot of people fail at too. You know what I mean? They're too strict on their self right from the jump. Like if somebody, there's a lot of trainers out there and who I've seen online. Yeah. And and I actually seen personally, and I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I. I told this, uh, well, I didn't tell him, but he was telling him, this is what we're going to do. We're going to change this. We're going to change that. We're going to yeah. change this. And I'm thinking to myself, you're setting that man up for disaster. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like, it's like how, how are you going to make expect this man to make a, just a life-changing moment like that? Man. You know what I'm saying? You're setting the man up yeah. for disaster. You know for disaster. I mean? That's why, like, uh, with both of my guys who I'm working with, I made very small adjustments for mm. them. And my, one of my guys, like I said, he's down 18. My other boy, he was down eight, 
two weeks ago. Now he told me he's another four, maybe pushing five because of weight fluctuating. Mm. And it's just make a small adjustment. Mm. I didn't change shit on that mm. lifestyle. You know what I mean? I didn't do nothing. Just made small yeah. adjustments. And, yeah. And as it progresses a little bit further, then we'll make another small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Bro. But, how the hell they expect it for somebody to blink their eyes and oh my life's different now? Exactly. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Bro, this is this is some valuable information, man. I I hope our listeners are listening, man, because this is this is good. This is real good what you're saying. Um, small adjustments over big ones, you know, testing the water before you jump in. Guys, remember that. Um, bro, last question. Last question. Um, before I let you go, as your leader, as the group leader. Uh, of, of the fitness group and things of that nature, what can I do as a leader to help you um, further your goals or to hit your goals also for this upcoming month? Um, to be honest, you do everything perfect, man. Like um, your your check ins, your um, your weekly goals. You don't know how far that goes. And then the mm. same thing about it is, it's like, I don't know why, but like when I see it, I see them like three or four days later. Yeah. 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 Facebook does that. I don't know why it does yeah, that. Sometimes. I, yeah. I don't know why it's been doing that. Mm-hmm. And it was like, uh, I see Giselle uh, hit one and I'm like, Hold on, what, what, what was that question at? Yeah, I, I was I was going to tell you about that. Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I, I was like, man, I yeah, think, I think it was the abs, abs one. Yeah, because I want I wanted you to answer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I seen her video when I yeah. seen her make it, and I was like, it said three days ago, and I'm like, mm-hmm. well, hold on, when the hell was that question asked? <laughs> I just didn't see it, you know. Yeah, you're good, man. You're all good. Yeah. And, and sometimes I wanted, too. yeah, I wanted to chime in on it too. And yeah, like, you can still chime in. Yeah, I was like, man, it's been five, six days later now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll I'll keep it up. I'll keep it up for this week. I'll keep it up for this yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, because that's a really good question. I, I wanted you yeah. to. Somebody even posted a picture of them when they were a child. I'm not sure if you saw the comments, but uh, Jamil he he posted a picture of him when he was seven years old. And he was talking about how he had abs when he was seven because of low body fat percentage. Because the question was, you know, can, if you're trying to get abs, should you work harder, work do more ab workouts to make them, yeah. yeah, to make them bigger, or should you drop body fat percentage to actually be able to see them and make them more visible? And it was like, which one should you do? So I wanted yeah. you to chime in, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, but uh, just don't hit it right, you know what I mean? Uh, you have to have your nutrition and in fat. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like I told uh, my, my guy, um, he was talking about abs and stuff. He's like, man, mm-hmm. we're gonna, why do we only do abs once a week? I said, mm-hmm. really? You know what I mean? We, we train them twice a week, but you're only seeing a picture of it once a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I started breaking it down. Sure. And I said, I said, when we do our compound exercises, like sure. the barbell rows, when we're, mm-hmm. when we're squatting, when we're doing our overhead mm-hmm. press, don't you always hear me engage your core? Mm. And, and he's like, yeah. I was like, trust me, bro. I'm training your abs. Let's too, go. But you're not even knowing it. You know, yep. without you even realizing it. Yeah, yep. you see us doing the ab crunches and stuff. I said, but no. I said, the abs don't work that way, man. Uh, mm-hmm. You got to have your nutrition, right? I yeah. said, once your nutrition gets to a certain level and you start dropping your body fat, uh, the abs will start coming in because you are born with them. You know what I mean? All we're doing is we're working them right now. So for when you reach that certain body fat level and that percentage, they, they're going to pop. But we got to get to that level first. That's why I always say, just worry about your nutrition. Mm. And if you want to mm. have, don't worry about it. They will come. A lot of people, uh, I posted it in the group a while back when I first got into the the, the, the group chat. Uh, mm. Not not the private group, but the, the public. public group. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, about, the, about the iceberg effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. And mm-hmm. a lot of people talk about I want to get tone, I want abs, and I want this, I want muscular, I want this, and then I underneath need, the wall, yeah, <laughs> all that shit would it take to get there. Yeah, it's like I said, if you focus on this, yeah. trust me, that other ninety, that other ninety percent will come in play. You know yeah. What I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, mm. I wanted to chime in on that, but yeah, you gotta just get to the body fat to a certain level. Yeah, and I found out for me personally, like uh, 
I got told I didn't get a test test really done. I didn't go to the hospital or anything to actually see what my body fat percentage was mm. when uh when I shredded it down to one thirty nine and I sh- when I shredded that fifty more pounds of fat. Uh, yeah. But I got told by other bodybuilders like who's been in the game for a while that man, you're about every bit of twelve percent body fat. Wow. I mean, you're about twelve percent, mm. and then uh, I noticed that my um it's called the abdominus um. It has a weird name with an S. I can't mm. it. Don't don't hate me on it because I'm a trainer and don't know that name. No. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's the, well, let's just put it hood hood, to, uh, hood type. Uh, yeah, it's the V shape. The, the V shape. shape. Mm-hmm. The V shape will go down. It's the abdominus something, a uh, spinacher or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the abdominus, yeah, that V shape. Uh, yep. uh, I was like, it was coming in, but it wasn't full pop. Yeah. Um. That's where my goals are more when I'm coming to shred down. I don't care what it's going to take me to get to if I got to get down to 125 pounds. <laughs> okay, okay. I, dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, yeah, because I, uh, I want it, you know what I mean? Yeah, because, yeah, Like, yeah. I was so close before when I stopped shredding. Yeah. Uh, but I couldn't go no further in my shred because yeah. I already went six months and – like what I like to preach about is like you don't want to put your body Facts. in constantly. You gotta you gotta make adjustments with it. Yeah. Too. You can't just strictly surplus surplus for mm-hmm. a whole year straight. It's just mm-hmm. not good for you. It's mm-hmm. just not good for you. Yeah. Uh, I took it to the max. I took it to the six months mm. of shredding, and that's as far as I got. And, yeah. And but this time I'm gonna I'm a whole lot more uh, educated. I'm a All right, whole nice. lot more know knows what it takes to get it. Nice. I know what I need to be doing, and mm-hmm. uh, that's going to be my aim this time, and hopefully I can get it within the six months. Love it, man. I love it, bro. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is so informative, man. Uh, I know this was a check-in, but, bro, this feels like a, a course. Like, everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, like. <laughs> I, I, like this was a check in, but this feels like a course, man. I feel like I feel like I could literally sell this. I'm like this is a whole course. <laughs> you just gave a whole course, like so many more, so many valuable golden nuggets you just dropped. Um, like like I, I honestly am truly honored to just have you in my group because I know the type of caliber that comes with you. You know, as a fitness instructor, fitness trainer, um, I know what type of guy you are and I know the caliber that you have in terms of your wisdom, but not only the wisdom, but then the the actions you put and apply to it. So I'm not going to hold you, bro. I know you have things you yeah, have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You know like, trust yeah. me, when we get like here, man. Oh, yeah, you know. You know, bro. <laughs> you, it, you know. But but tonight, again, it, tonight, it, I'm going to see you in a few hours. So yeah, I'm going yeah, to need, sure. I want that, I want that same energy, bro. Just bring it, yeah. you know, bring the same energy, that same uh, vibe back that you always do, bro. And always be willing to chime in because your feedback is highly, highly um, appreciated, bro. I want to thank you, man. And thank you for what you said to me also as a leader. Um, of the group, you know, to be able to hear that from you and feel like, you know, you feel like you're getting out of it what it is that you want it and more. Um, I want you to feel that and I want you to make sure that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, go ahead. You're doing, you're doing an awesome job there, brother. And Bro. that's all like, uh, I commend you on that. And that's awesome. It takes, I know it takes some time out of your daily stuff. And uh, yeah. you put together something that's really great and what helps people. Uh, like I said, I just wish uh, I could have seen it, seen some certain things on that day because I mm-hmm. definitely chimed in. I, I, oh, I yeah. Done it because oh, the yeah. Topic I love talking about. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely. But, but yeah, but no, but your your weekly goals or your weekly check ins and stuff like that, you still reaching out, you posting every day. That that right there, brother, gold. Bro, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Again, man, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for, you know, you making the time out your day to do it as well. Cause your father, man, you know, you have things you have to do, but you still made that time, bro. Um, and was able to chime in and allow me to do this check in with you, bro. So thank you, man, guys. Thank you also. Um, all right, bro. If you can shoot out your social media where they can follow you, where they can hit you up, bro. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, games by the gram. Uh, and on Facebook, you can find me at art Pistano. And always remember, let the games be with you. Games be with you, man. Y'all already know, man. This is my guy, Art, the private Facebook group, a member of my group, man. Amazing guy. Go follow him. Support him. Thank you. Also, make sure you like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Comment below, man, if there's any questions that me or Art can address for you. And as you guys know, until next time, peace.